As a child, I grew up in uh, Pinedale, New Mexico. Growing up there, kids were uh, being taken away from their parents. I happened to be one of those that got taken away when I was a very young age. We all went to boarding school. First, it was my brothers and sisters. They were taken away, and they end up in uh, Oregon. It's a school, Indian school there. And I end up at uh, boarding school, uh, Port Wingate. It was an old Army uh, base. One of my biggest influences is probably my mother, because she was the artist in the family. Whenever it rained, she would say, go get some mud, let's make a person. And then later on, she said, now go get some more mud. We're going to build him a horse. That's when I learned how to appreciate art. On the other hand, my dad was always working, but he was a silversmith. He taught me how to make jewelry as a young kid, and it helped me along the way as I was growing up. Well, somewhere along the way, I'm more like uh, walking the red and white road. When I look back, some of my painting will explain that I drew my face into uh, a canvas, and I said, red, white, and blue means there's a red road, the city of Chicago is red, and the landscape where I came from is just a mountain. And to the image, when you see it, they're both tall. Red, white, and blue means that either side why I left was because I felt like I wasn't appreciated. They told you to move, go into the city, disappear. Then when you come here, it's the same thing. You really don't belong here because Everybody kind of don't want you to have a good life. If you work hard, I think you can do it on your own, but you just can't say, give me something. You have to earn it. The Indian is blue because he's just not happy on both sides of the world. Well, I was always an artist. I came here to go to school, but I got drafted. I served my country in Vietnam. I was a machine gunner, and I dropped everything when I got Back from Vietnam, I wasn't myself. I was totally out of control. But uh, I told my wife, uh, we met and we got married, and then I told her, I'll wait until I retire, then I'll start doing my art. And I said, I only got 20 years, so it's been 10 years since I retired, I think, and I got 10 more. That's my goal. My wife is Italian. I couldn't get an Indian woman. <laughs> So what happened was, like I said, I was a bad person when I came back from Vietnam. She saved my ass. If it wasn't for her, I would have probably either died or in jail or something, but I give her a lot of credit for what she did. It was just the war that took its toll on me. I have a post-traumatic uh, stress disorder, and today I go see my doctor at the Heinz and at Elgin Community uh, outpatient, and they are working with me, and thank God they recognized what my problem was. I didn't know what it was. I was fighting with the devil. I was trying to kill myself. Uh, I lost my friend. I said, why him? You know, I should be the one that died. And then I always asked my question was, why did I come back? I got to find out what it is. I think it's my art and whatever I'm doing with the kids. On a volunteer base, I run an art gallery in Schaumburg. It's the only native art gallery in the state. So I'm a caretaker. I don't want to say I'm a curator, but uh, I think that's what I have become by working hard. Every day is like uh, something new coming up. The reason is we don't have an art gallery that we can think of or for our, uh, for our city here. So finally, uh, the, the Schaumburg people gave us an opportunity to have one. It's a big building, uh, I love it, I like being there. Uh, most of the people that we have are local artists that we use. Every once in a while we'll get somebody from the Southwest. My dream was to be an artist. It meant everything to me because that's what kept me alive, that's what kept me going. If I didn't have art, I think I would have just uh, faded away into nothing. But it doesn't mean that you have to go out and sell your art. It just means that you're happy. Whatever you do something, it is very challenging, and people love it. I love it. You know, it's just relaxing for me. Sometimes I don't watch TV for days. You know, it's just a reward. Well, I really don't 
uh, understand. This is something that I do. I think you would be great, but for me to get an award, I don't know if I deserve it yet, but if it's very important, I will work on it. The next 20 years that I have left, uh, but my family, my, my people have always, you know, if it's something that they have to do, they just say, get it done, don't ask questions. As long as you see that it's making everybody happy, that's the goal.